It's time to go qualifying in the FIA Formula 3 Championship here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, the place where we first went qualifying in this championship. 30 cars you see lined up down the pit lane. This always the beautiful sight when they all get going at pretty much the same time. Those that want to go out onto the circuit first. We're on the road to 100. There's cars coming down the road onto the circuit here at the circuit of Barcelona took the first pole position of the season, wasn't able to convert it. You get two points for a pole position. And Dino Beganovic currently fourth in the championship. Will he be the driver to start the 100th race on pole position? He's going to hit a whole heap of traffic now as he makes his way through 13 into 14. Looks like everyone's behaving themselves and clearing out the way. Let's get a benchmark time down on the board then. He's going to get a nice toe from the number five of Sammy Megatunin. And benchmark time is down. 129.9. Go and beat that, says Beganovic. Browning yet to take a pole position in Formula 3. Here he comes down the start finish straight. Luke Browning, P2 for the time being. 129.494. Beganovic, this is where he ran wide, the Swedish driver. Here. There you can see, bumped over that uh, curve on the exit, unsettled the car, and he will lose pace now all the way up the hill. So it's Lindblad, Browning, well, it's no longer that, it's Lawrence Van Hoopen, who has been in the top 12 in all qualifying sessions so far. He's one of six drivers out of the 30 to do that. Leo Fornaroli, second, just eight hundredths of a second back. Christian Mansell just a tenth and a half back. Look how close it is at the top. Who also got his first win, a podium, and a first win with that. Became the first Bulgarian driver to stand on the top step of a Formula 3 podium. Uh, back at Monaco. After that, race 98, eight different winners in eight races. Now, we saw some work going on to one of the uh, ART cars, I think. No huge problems there. I think he's in here uh, last year. Uh, which was eighth place, so he knows how to go fast round here. Towards the first corner now, in towards the first couple of corners uh, he goes. And Luke Browning taking us through turn three now. That gravel trap on your left, but Luke Browning gets through it just OK. And that, a superb lap from Luke Browning. Got that absolutely perfect, didn't he? 128.888 for Luke Browning. Will that be enough for his first pole position in Formula 3? Well, he's it. Fourth place, he's with the Spanish run, Campos D, and he's put them on to the second row of the... Out of three tenths of a second, you're not going to be in the top 12. That is unbelievably close. Half a second between the top, what's that, 20 drivers? You've got within six tenths, you're out of the top 20. Unbelievable. And if he can do so, he'll get there. Right, Dino. At coming out the pit lane now. And he's given himself some space. Well, we're just going to go through the build-up process of getting heat through the tyres and the brakes. And it's uh, Luke Browning who is leading us down. Gabrielli Mini trying to fight his way through the pack slightly. It goes by Sammy Megatuna. Leo Fornaroli in the number four. The, or released into the park, I should say. I think he'll probably be OK. The uh, times to the left-hand side of screen will set the grid for the feature race. We reverse the top 12 for the slightly lower scoring sprint race tomorrow. Push laps here and everyone going quick. We've got Lindblad purple, Montoya purple as well. Let's watch him across the line. Luke Browning, 128.519 for him. And that puts Luke Browning even further out front place but we got Montoya going very quickly as well Arvid Lindblad now goes quickest across the line the young Red Bull Junior at 128.499 Santiago Ramos fifth place for him he a little bit further down the order Leo Fornaroli 
third place for him, Nicolas Soloff, the Alpine Academy driver. Second place, he's on the front row, 3,000s back. Well, it's all to pole position, 128.463, and the Australian driver to the top of the times, 28.463 for him. Wow, oh, Joseph Loke and Alex Dunn fighting away with each other there. But uh, what a result. Well, ART Grand Prix begin their celebrations. They've been in this championship since it started. And it looks like they are going to be the team to lead us away for the 100th time when we go racing. And, and Christian Mansell has taken his first pole position in Formula 3. Thank you for watching these highlights. You can see the um, official times next to me. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so I would really appreciate your help. Peace.